my name is Alexis Bacon and I'm the Program and Member Services Assistant here at the Association. This is just a quick video to show you how to add new staff members to your roster so they can log into our website, they can take part in the communities, they can register for webinars, and just participate in all the other member benefits that we have to offer. So I did want to mention before I go on that only company administrators are able to add people to the roster. So that would be the main contact, the billing contact, and then sometimes you have um, some other company admins assigned. You are able to assign more company admins to your account. There's an unlimited amount, so it's really up to who, who will be making the roster edits. So feel free to give us an email at info at publicgardens.org if you want to add yourself as a company admin. Okay, so I am going to go into Login Renew, and I am using the account of someone who is a company admin and the main contact, so I will be able to show you how this works. So now that I'm logged in, you'll see that it says welcome, comma, Miss Main, which is my name at the top here, and it will drop down to my profile, which I will select. From here, you'll notice that your institutional name is hyperlinked. You're going to click there. Then you'll go to the tab on the right hand side that says contacts. From here, you do have the option to download your roster if you wanted. You can export into all of these different file types and send it along maybe to your HR manager to compare the two lists together to see who you, who you need to update, who you need to add. So that's one possibility, but here we're going to teach you how to add, add a contact. So there's a button right here that's right above your whole roster of other people who are in this institution. So you'll hit add contact and I'm going to make this test test one new contact. So first and last name, I'm just you know, putting in a, a fake first and last name. An email address. And then you're welcome to fill in this bill this address information. It will automatically fill from the institutional address, so you don't have to fill that in unless the address is different from the institutional address. Say you want to put someone's personal home address in, for example. Then you'll give them a password and make sure you write this down. <laughs> if you don't remember, you can always send us an email and we will reset the password for you. So I have already created a, an email with that name, so I'm just going to go in and make a new email address. So that's fine. I suggest if you're adding a bunch of people to your roster on the same day, setting the same password for all of them. It keeps it a lot easier. It's a lot simpler to track. Um, Okay, so we'll see, let's see, my test two, new contact. Now I know that was not the one that I added today, so let's see here. Here we go. Test one, new contact, and you will see that I accidentally did not put their, their job title in, but that is just fine. We can select their job title by clicking this member button. And the member is just a stand-in stand -in title, essentially. So you'll hit edit, then you can hit, um, you can type in their job title here. And say you wanted to make this person a company admin, you are welcome to change that here too. So I'm just gonna keep them as a member and make sure you hit save and close. And then you'll see here that I've added them to the roster. 
and they have their own account so they can now log in. The one thing I did want to mention is you are not able to erase contacts from your view of the website. So if you do have contacts that you need to remove from your roster, feel free to contact us and we can help you with that. Thanks so much.